hi everyone welcome back again to another frederick tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about how to create a simple animation over our floating action button so this idea is inspired from the gmail app with the latest gmail version of our app we will be able to observe a simple animation over this floating action button right so as we scroll down the list view we see that uh, the floating action button actually strings and we will be able to see just the icon right and similarly if we scroll it back to the top we will be able to see the original floating action button dot extended widget right so um, this is one of the simple animation which we will be developing as a result of this video tutorial and for developing this kind of animation we have predominantly used two kinds of components one is the animated container so for making this kind of a uh, smooth animation we will be wrapping all the widgets inside the animated container widget and also to keep track of the scrolling we will be making use of the scroll controller right so with these two components we will be able to just attain this kind of animation in our flutter application okay hope you got a good overview about the topic and the concept what we will be discussing in this video tutorial and with this idea let's move on to the coding part of how to implement this kind of animations in your flutter application right Okay, starting with the main.dat file, the home points to my home page, and in this uh, stateful widget class, we got an app bar. Okay, body we got the list view, and the list view contains a set of 100 items. See, so the item list actually contains a set of 100 items which we just rendered using this build list view widget. Okay, so it is a constant function which renders them in the list view builder, and at last we have a floating action button and it's just a floating action button dot extended widget with the text compose and the icon as edit okay so even if we scroll it top and bottom it won't have any effect because there is no animations added over here right so first let us just uh, try to toggle between those two floating action buttons based on the scroll okay for that let us create a scroll controller first Okay, so um, here we got a scroll controller and also we just need to create a boolean variable just to keep track of the scroll that is whether this whether to render which floating action button to keep track of that I will be creating is fab boolean variable okay so if it is set to true then we will be rendering just uh, the simple floating action button if it is false then we will be uh, rendering the floating action button dot extended widget okay and also we need to initialize the scroll controller and for that let us create a init state and for now let us just have this as an empty one okay and we just need to add this scroll inside our list view builder okay pass in the controller as scroll controller so, so we will be now able to track the scroll of the user whenever there is a, a scroll is detected in the list view right but to toggle this toggle between these floating action buttons we just so First, uh, first we got two floating action buttons over here right so one is the extended floating action button as said before and another is again the same flo extended floating action button widget but instead of the label uh, so in inside this label instead of the text widget I have just provided a size box so literally both the floating action button or floating action button dot extended widget only okay right so we just need to toggle between these two widgets based on the score and how to track them is with the help of this is fab okay so is fab boolean variable inside this add listener let us just check for the condition that is if the scroll controller offset goes beyond 50 then at that case i'll be just rendering a simple floating action button that is the button with the icon alone okay in such case let me just set the is fab variable as true and we just need to wrap this inside the set state and give them as true and similarly in the else 
condition will be just setting it back to false and with the help of this is fair variable we will be just toggling between these two floating action buttons if it is set to true then we will be rendering build floating action button that is build fab which is a custom function and or else if it is false then we will be rendering the extended floating action button okay and also we just forgot to dispose the scroll controller right so let me just dispose that scroll controller because whenever we just create a controller we just need to uh, be aware to dispose that otherwise there will be memory leaks scroll controller dot dispose of okay and I think we just need to have this override that's it we got the scroll controller initialized as well as it disposed well that's a good practice so let's see how it works because we scroll down so it actually works but it actually just toggles between the widgets but without the animation which is which does not have quite uh, intuitive look so to get that kind of smooth animation it is very simple just wrap that floating action button with the animated container okay so let's go into this floating action button and here we got the floating action button with the icon alone right and what we need to do is just wrap that inside the animator container and for the animator container we just need and for the animator container we just need to pass in few parameters and the first and foremost thing is the duration that is the how much duration it takes between the or the latency between the animations so it is a duration we can provide and i will be providing it in terms of milliseconds which is 200 and similarly you can provide you can just choose the type of animation what you want and let me let me give it as those dot linear would be good and you can specify the width let me give it the width and height as the same since uh, it is just the icon so as it is just holding the icon alone let me have the same kind of uh, value for width and height and similarly we just need to wrap this extended floating action button widget with that animator container and have the same set of parameters just copy paste it for time sake and in this case instead of 50 let me have the width as 150 pixels and let me have the height as the same one okay and let's see how it works so as I scroll it down we now able to see a smooth animation right the shrinking animation of the floating action button but you see that the icon is played somewhat it's not the center right so that's because we have a, a size box in the place of label that is what is causing this kind of um, spacing so to look it more kind of a uh, natural let me just wrap that inside the padding and let me just instead of all let me just provide it only and i just need to have a spacing on the left alone and so let me give it a left okay so if you see that uh, the icon seems to be placed somewhat at the center right 
so we just adjust it some way to get it at the center okay so you see as the offset goes beyond 50 pixels right uh, so what we have given is 50 yeah as we scroll beyond 50 then we just get a shrinked floating oxygen button and similarly we scroll to the top we will be able to get the extended one see the animation is smooth and so that's what we just want to obtain in our flutter app okay so that's it guys hope you enjoy this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye